you ready for a bit of a jarring lighting change? Because I'm about to turn into a ghost because I chose this lighting after recording the video you're about to watch. Please enjoy. Ooh. EverQuest epics are not created equal, not in the difficulty of the quest or the epic itself. Some may last for several expansions, while others may be obsolete as soon as Velius comes around. Much of this changes with 1.5 and 2.0 epics, which can really in most cases are must-haves. EverQuest comes with 16 classes. That's not 16, that's... You know what? It comes with 16 classes. Two of those come long after Epic 1.0s have already been on the scene, so we'll leave them out of the discussion for now. I'm looking at you, Beast Lords, and Berserkers. That leaves us with 14 classes to discuss the two worst and the two best epics. Now, don't get it twisted. You have not stumbled upon Game Theory's alternate channel that focuses exclusively on MMOs and EverQuest. These are just anecdotal thoughts from myself and a few others that I've played EverQuest with for the better part of two decades through multiple progression servers, so I invite you to comment down below how wrong or how right I am. Let's go ahead and get the most obvious one out of the way first. This stands head and shoulders above every other epic because of the quality of life it improves, both in groups Raids, and even solo. This epic is the fabled res stick. The Cleric 1.0 clicky res stick. This epic has game changing ability, especially in raids. The clicky res remains useful for several expansions. Quite simply, it stands head and shoulders above the rest due to its utility. It just makes life easier. The epic quest itself is not one of the easier ones, but it is one of those that you can find help for pretty much in any guild. Cleric epics are a premium that guilds want to get done because it speeds up recovery time so much when you don't have to rely on mana for those reses. The next epic That's my monk. Uh I might cut that out. <laughs> yeah, probably gonna cut that out. Or if it's still here. I, I just, I'm a monkey for your enjoyment. The Monk 1.0 is damn near a must have because it increases the Monk's DPS so much. And if a Monk wants to do good DPS in groups, raids, and even solo, they need the 1.0. It is one of those epics that lasts for a long time. I reached out to a um, guildie of mine who was the top monk DPS for basically the better part of several years. And they said that the 1.0 epic was useful really until Planes of Power. That's several expansions after it first comes out. And it's also one of those epics that's not that difficult to do. It has some, some, part, some bottleneck parts, but it's really not one of the rougher ones compared to, say, the Cleric Epic or the Shadow Knight Epic. Like the Cleric Epic, the effect is what makes this epic special. It's not the stats. It lives on long after its stats have been outpaced by other items. It's not hurt by the fact, either, that it's not a primary only epic. It goes on your hands. The limitations of primary only will feature heavily in our next two epics. The Necromancer Duckstaff. This one hurt to include because it was the second epic I ever completed, right after the Ragebringer for the Rogue. And I adore the class in general. The Duckstaff is not difficult to complete. I'd say it's even one of the easier ones, but when the silliness of the epic and the stats are the most exciting part, you know it's gonna be trash. Unlike melee epics, which were also all in contention for the worst epic slot, and some others like the Druid epic and the Shaman epic that have similar drawbacks to the Necromancer epic. What set the Necro epic aside is just being so, so bad in the effect 
that seems to serve little to no purpose for the class it was designed for. You have a, a long cast time snare and a dot, but it is a highly resisted dot. It is rarely useful. You're taking away another dot, another snare, which actually is more useful and is just not that powerful. I edges out the druid and shaman epics because at least with druid mana, that mana is more of a premium. Whereas Necromancer and to a lesser extent Shaman, it's not that big a deal, but you're given a mana free dot, which so it's the, the return is not there as much as it would be for, say, the Druid. It is unfortunately just not that great. I do still recommend this quest, though. There are some nice things you get along the way. It's not too difficult and it's a duck staff. Quack. However, I do not recommend these next epics, which I consider to be the absolute worst. This is a twofer for the price of one because they're just that bad. It felt like cheating to keep them separate as both of these are the worst. Shadow Knight and Paladin epics, the Knight epics. Quite simply, these epics are horrible. The effects are near useless, even within era, let alone future expansions, and this is largely because they rely on you to be in combat with that epic and get a proc. It is not a clicky effect like some of the other ones, it has to be used with the epic itself. Arguments can be made that even within the same expansion, far easier to obtain weapons, weapons are similar. The net benefits are completely erased come Velius and Lucklin, making this one of the fastest to replace epics out of all of them. The difficulty of these epics, especially the Shadow Knight epic, makes them even less desirable. The one argument to be made for these epics, which lasts right about up until Lucklin, when you get AAs, is the two-handed bash. So you get two-handed bash with these epics, but in a lot of cases you might as well just go with a one-hander and a shield. Feel no shame in skipping these epics, though they remain some of the coolest looking epic 1.0s in the game. So what do you think? Do you change my order? What two epics do you think are the best? What two do you think are the worst? I'd love to hear what you have to say. Thank you so much for watching a millennial wax nostalgic about a 22 year old game. I hope you found this a little bit help you. If you want to catch more of this face, I play games on Twitch, twitch.tv slash redbeardflynn, and I hope to see you there. Again, thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me. It means the world to me. Have a great day. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, God, there's another one. Crap. I did not plan for this. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Oh, my God, Emma, that's fantastic. Oh, God. <laughs>